come on. All right, easy now. <laughs> easy now. I know exactly what I'm doing. Is this thing working? Hello? Hello? Uh, maybe it's not safe to hold a camera while flying a helicopter. I wouldn't know. I failed all of the flying courses. I was told not only could I not have a license to fly a helicopter, I should never try again or they would have me arrested, but I think this is going well. We're about we're about 100 miles off the, uh, the coast of Costa Rica. We are approaching my new private island. Private in that I used a lot of money that's not technically mine to rent it from the Costa Rican government. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to Isla... What is this? Isla Isildur? Isla Aragorn? I don't know. Something something like that. It sounds very Lords of the Ringy. Oh, goodness gracious. No, no, no. Don't crash. Don't... Don't crash. Okay, we're, we're a little shy of the helicopter pad. We're a little shy of the helicopter. We shouldn't land on the glass roof. That's probably not a good idea. Let's just land on the helicopter. Oh, good grief. Land on that. No, 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 no. We're not there yet. We're close, though. Oh, we're close. Should we call it? Maybe we should just... Mm, mm, come on. Okay. I, n <laughs> I, I I promise you, I did all of the simulations. I watched some YouTube videos. Oh! I think... I think we've done it. Look at that. We've landed. Well, howdy, folks. My name is Cub. Some of you may know me as the uh, the CEO and sole proprietor of Uncle Cub's Cookie Company, or UCCC. Look for us in the stock market. We're not there, because again, we are privately owned. Uh, but this, this is my new project. This is where I'm taking all of the billions that I've won, uh, earned by selling cookies, you know, and, and making promises to people, to, to build this beautiful facility here. And some of you may be wondering why. Why would I do this? Well, the answer's simple. It turns out my cookies make people terribly ill, and no one's buying them anymore, and I might have already invested all of my money in other things, like sports cars and mansions, and I might need something else to make millions off of. So I started looking around, and I started thinking to myself, what can I do to make money? And genetics seemed like a good idea. I know nothing about genetics, but I do know that with what was left of my fortune, after selling all my sports cars, I was able to hire a bunch of really smart people to clone mammoths. Check that out, everyone. A mammoth, a real, honest-to-goodness mix of, of, well, okay, it might be, it might be that we took a, uh, a particularly hairy dog's DNA and mixed it with a, uh, an elephant and um, mixed in some warthog there to get the tusks just right. But yeah, it's close enough. It's kind of a mammoth. Y you can't ask for more than that. Don't, don't ask about the gun. It turns out when you splice genes and DNA and stuff, animals can sometimes get a little rowdier than you would anticipate. We're not going to cover that. We're just going to hope that... I mean, it's just a desert eagle, but hopefully it'll be enough. Hey, that's not the only thing we did. We also genetically... Oh, where is it? Okay, this isn't a problem. We're just gonna head right on in there. Hello? Where Where is that little guy? Um, maybe we can get him out. Come on, buddy. Why can't I not shoot? What's wrong with my gun? Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't be in here if the gun's not working. Ah! Alright, I'll, I'll, I won't lie. I also failed the gun course. The gun safety course, the concealed handgun course, the can you fill out the paperwork to buy the gun course. I was actually banned from purchasing weaponry. Don't ask where I got this. Anyway, there was a, a slightly morphed ocelot. We gave it some big teeth. We're calling it a saber tooth. It's, it's not really. Looks like it might have gotten out. Although I did hear the staff was a little worried. Apparently they had a sci-fi movie marathon. Some saber tooth movies came on. They might have gotten rid of the saber tooth ocelot now. Either that or it escaped, which doesn't bode well for the future of this facility. But anyway, let me give you all the tour. This is this is Uncle Cub's genetic facility factory for creating cool things. Because apparently mammoths aren't cool enough. Someone else in China, I think it is, they've got some scientists working on making a real mammoth. Not just a cross between some dogs and elephants. So that's not going to be very interesting. So we've decided to go back and try to make... Wait for it. Wait for it. Well, actually, we tried to find a new cookie recipe. Then we decided on dinosaurs, and this is the facility where we're gonna be. We're gonna be doing. Th this is actually facility number two. Facility number one it was being operated out of a small trailer just outside of El Paso, Texas, and that was going really well until the first couple of generations of crazy, at that point, miniature um, mammoths got loose. I say miniature because we didn't quite have the DNA mixed right, and so they ended up looking like the elephant, but the size of a dog and a. Yeah, they sounded like that, except meaner and very angry, and some people went missing. 
and it seemed like a good idea to, to get out of Dodge fast. Look at that, the sun is setting. We've been at, well, I mean, we feel like we've just gotten here, but let me give you guys the tour. So this is the helicopter silo, you land on top of it, up there on the H. It doesn't mean hospital or health, it just literally means helicopter. Because that's where you land the helicopter, you come down here. The plan in the future is to have a nice little area for supplies, like be stored around here when it's delivered to the facility. Have a nice little desk here with some pretty gal to greet you. Or man, we're not sexist here, we'll take a pretty man too. A uh, handsome man? I don't think it matters. Terminology's not important. And then you'll come in here and you'll be greeted by our mammoth! Uh, well, you know, un until we actually have dinosaurs ready. And then we're gonna put dinosaurs in these hopefully impenetrable and unescapable, although I don't know what happened to the ocelot, cages! And, and, and who's gonna be coming here? Who's gonna be visiting this? Well, first off, we're building a park. At least that's the plan. Um, I know the guy that takes care of my money says it's not really gonna pan out too well, but <laughs> what does he know? We're, we're gonna build a park, we've already, we're, we're trying to get investors, is what I'm trying to say here. So investors are gonna come, they're gonna take a look around here, they're gonna be like, Oh my gosh, this is amazing, they're gonna give us billions and we're gonna go build a park. And this is really the only place investors can go because we don't really want them taking a look back here. This is where the good stuff happens. We travel away from the investors visiting center into the lab. Oh yeah, this is where the good stuff goes down. This is a server room. Um, our server uh, server tech, I should say, Taiwan, has been very busy in here. I, I don't know what any of this stuff is or what it does. I'm, I'm told once these are powered up, this stuff is going to sequence DNA and things. Uh, and, and supposedly all of these will be full of disks, not just these. And that's going to store all of our DNA sequencing. Oh, and look back here. This oh, I didn't even know this was here. They must have added this into the plants without telling me. Never a good sign. I won't lie, it, it, I like to be told of things when they happen, but that's okay. Like I said, I don't really understand tech, so yeah, we're just not going to go back into the server room unless we have to for some reason. Here we go, here's the main lab area, and actually looking at it now, I realize we're going to have about 100 people staffed here, um, being paid for by money that we might have swindled out of a small charity. And I don't, I, I've, I neglected, completely neglected to build any sort of bedding areas. Like we were supposed to have bunks and, and cots and, and cots for like next to bunks and bathrooms. I, I might have forgotten. It's okay! It's okay because look how beautiful it is outside. We'll sleep under the stars. You guys like this? A vibrant quartz glass. One of the things we've been working on here because we couldn't really figure out dinosaurs. And we thought for a minute this might be good, but... We, I think we're gonna we're gonna continue trying with the dinosaurs, and then we're gonna try selling this if this if that doesn't work out. But oh, fantastic! Look at that. Yeah, it looks like they got the solar array set up upstairs. We've got plenty of power stored and ready to go. Do we have our machines? Yeah, we do. We've got our DNA extractors, our cultivators. Ah, uh, yes, this is a great. This is fantastic. Fossils? Oh <laughs> yeah. We got everything we need here. What do we have over here in these? Oh, oh, growth serum. Great. Yeah. That's something else that Dr. Professor IT guy, all around just really helpful guy Taiwan came up with. Taiwan, you, you need, he's, he's really helpful. He, he pretty much does everything. I just supply the money that I get from various questionably, you know, illegal sources. This stuff is bad though. Definitely don't give this to one of the crazy miniature mammoths. Or, well, let's not go into that story right now. I think what we're planning on doing here in the future is we're going to set this up as the main lab. We can have all of our DNA processing over here, and then if we head outside, we're going to have a couple of small pins to raise young dinos. It's going to be great. We're going to need more, obviously. We won't have more than two dinos. We already have one! Have I told you guys that? The, the, let me tell you guys why I think this is going to work. Let me show you the proof of concept I made to get our first batch of uh, investors convinced that it was a good idea to give me more money after some previously failed projects. This doesn't look very safe. There's no railing or anything. Don't worry, this is all going to be redone, maybe, at some point. Like, if the insurance inspector comes and wants to inspect, or, you know, maybe OSHA. OSHA might have a problem with this, so we're definitely going to get that done by then. But if we head down here, watch our step, we take a little look down there. That's our Brachiosaurus. Isn't it majestic? Actually, no, it, it looks a little small from up here. Granted, we are high up in the mountains. If we were down there, though, it would be far more majestic. And you'd be looking at old Bracky down there thinking, oh, yeah. That I would give you millions. In fact, just look at him right there and think about giving me millions. Do you, do you want to give me millions? No? That's okay. You don't have to. Um, we're going to have more investors, hopefully. But, uh, 
that's your that's your basic tour of the facility, folks. This is where things are going to be going down. Stuff is going to be happening. I have to go get stuff ready because tomorrow morning, oh, it's not actually that far away. We're going to have the staff arriving, and I have to be ready because I've got to figure out where to tell them they're going to be sleeping. Under the stars still seems like a good idea. It does get kind of hot and humid out here, and there are mosquitoes the size of your face, uh, which is apparently an epidemic now. Not not our fault. You know, we we might have accidentally tried using the growth serum as a repellent against mosquitoes and created mutant mosquitoes that are now infesting the world, but maybe we didn't. Maybe that's not our fault. Maybe that's just a freak of nature, and we can't be brought up on any charges for that. Okay, then. Um, yeah, let's go get the bedding situation taken care of. I will see you folks next time. How do I turn this thing off? I only have a limited amount of tape, otherwise I'd keep going. How, where's, the, where's the power button on here? Come on! Turn off, darn you! Yeah!